Hello dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel The Evergreen English and I am Professor Jayashree Pujari. Today let us begin the second part of speech that is pronouns. In our previous video we have discussed about noun and its types. If you haven't watched that video, kindly check in my description box because today's topic pronouns is based on the nouns. So let us begin pronouns today. So what is pronoun? What is a pronoun? As we know noun is a name of a person, place, animals or thing or noun is a naming word. Pronoun is the word which is used instead of nouns. Okay. So pronoun is the word which is used instead of nouns. We say it which is used instead of nouns. Okay. There are different types of pronouns too. Important pronouns are subject pronoun. Subject pronoun. Object pronoun. Object pronouns. Possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun and we will go with reflexive reflexive pronouns ok important types of pronouns are subject pronoun object pronouns possessive pronoun and reflexive pronoun and now we will go with we will learn one by one so what is what is a Subject pronoun. As we know that pronouns are the word which are used instead of nouns. So when we talk about subject pronouns. Subject in the sense when we frame an English sentence. Okay. If I write a sentence. Ravi is intelligent. Ravi is intelligent boy. This is a sentence. Okay. Ravi is intelligent boy. If this is a sentence, it has subject, verb. Okay. This is helping verb we say. This is subject. This is helping verb or auxiliary verb we say. This is object. Okay. English sentence has subject and predicate or we will divide it subject, verb and object. Subject pronouns are those which take the place of subjects. Okay. If this is a sentence, Ravi is an intelligent. I'll use it an. Ravi is an intelligent boy. I'll continue with. He is also. He is also good in. He is also good in sports. Ravi is an intelligent boy. He is also good in sports. Okay. Ravi is an intelligent boy. This is a sentence. He is also good in sports. Is the second sentence. Instead of Ravi, I have used it he. Understood? He. This is what we say. Subject pronoun. Pronoun has taken the place of subject. So why it is called as subject pronoun. We have lots of examples here. Examples of subject pronouns are, I can go with I, you, of course we, he, she, it and they. Okay, these are subject pronouns. These pronouns take the place of subject. So they are called as subject pronouns pronouns. Okay. Lots of examples you can make. If I start with I subject pronoun. Okay. I am a lecturer. Okay. You. You are students. We. We are intelligent persons in this world. He. He is an intelligent boy. He is a student. Okay. He is a entrepreneur. She. 
she is a beautiful girl okay it it is running too fast they they are creatures they are the creatures of this world so these are subject pronouns i'll repeat it subject pronouns are the words which take the which takes which take the place of subject so they are called as subject pronoun hope you have understood it next we shall move on with object pronouns yes with as the name suggests object so object pronouns object pronoun so what are object pronouns the words which takes the place of object okay when we talk about when we talk about the sentences ravi is an intelligent boy okay this is the subject verb and object object pronouns are the words which take the place of object examples there are lots of examples here so what are examples of object pronouns let us go with all the examples of object pronouns okay i'll go with me okay i is the subject pronoun me is the object pronoun his her us them etc okay me so this is what subject is i it changes to me you you only okay he changes to his she changes to her we changes to us they changes to them okay when we go with examples she prepared delicious food for me okay so me is the object pronoun she prepared delicious food for me she prepared delicious food for him my mother prepares excellent delicious and tasty food for us understood any example which takes the place of object are called as object pronouns okay we will move on with next pronoun that is possessive pronoun possessive pronoun so what are possessive pronouns possessive pronouns are the words which relate to the nouns we say okay when we talk about this term possessive possessiveness okay it's mine what we say so it belongs to hers mine he is okay etc these are possessive pronouns here example of possessive pronouns are relating to or wanting to are the possessive pronouns mine okay his hers theirs okay these are etc etc these are the possessive pronouns everything whatever we relate to our things are the possessive things these are relating to or possessive pronouns these are also pronouns we say examples examples goes with this is my pen this is my pen okay it's mine when i stress it this is my pen it's mine mine this is what we say possessiveness okay it is her doll it is her doll it's hers understood stressing the things relating the things are called as possessiveness we say understood it is their house it is theirs the pen belongs to him it is his pen understood it is his pen so these are possessive pronouns okay next 
लास्ट प्रणाउन इज रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रणाउन सो वॉट आर रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रणाउंस नाउ रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रणाउंस सो वॉट आर रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रणाउंस रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रणाउंस दे रेफर बैक टू अ पर्सन बैक टू अ पर्सन और थिंग्स ओके रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउंस दे रेफर बैक टू अ पर्सन और थिंग्स लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोनाउंस रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउंस इन द सेंस बैक टू आर सेल्स बैक टू नाउन वी से ओके आई चेंजेस टू मी मी चेंजेस टू माइंड माइंड चेंजेस टू माई सेल्फ अंडरस्टूड सो माई सेल्फ इज द रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउंस रिफ्लेक्स मूवमेंट्स वी से रिफ्लेक्स इन द सेंस coming back moments understood so myself our self our self or if we use it for the plural ourselves s c l v e s okay himself himself herself itself so many examples you can give on these itself etc understood myself ourself himself herself itself themselves themselves etc singular or plural whatever kind of sentences you are framing depending upon that okay so now let us some of the examples of reflexive pronouns yes depending upon all these let us discuss examples she cut her hair okay by herself so herself is the reflexive pronoun she cut her hair herself is also perfect sentence okay or she cut her hair by herself okay next example yes अंकल प्रिपेयर्स मील्स और हीज फूड हीज मील्स बाय हिमसेल्फ ओके अंकल प्रिपेयर्स हीज मील्स बाय हिमसेल्फ आई डू ऑल माय वर्क्स यस आई डू all my works myself you can use directly also myself okay she cut her hair by herself isn't this is what we say reflex movements or relating to okay they refer back to the person isn't it? herself in the sense what she if i say okay nandita cut her hair by herself herself in the sense who nandita uncle prepares his meals by himself himself in the sense who is uncle i do all my works myself so myself in the sense who i here understood so all these are reflexive pronouns so you can look into this chart and you can go through all the four types of pronouns once again if you have any doubts kindly write put them in the comment section below or else you can mail to the evergreen english at gmail.com hope you have liked this video kindly like share subscribe and press on the bell icon so that you can get further notifications thank you